Isn't that pretty? It's a little pink, pink center daffodil. I got in honor of my aunt when I was uh, younger. She bought these and put them in for me. She lived next door. She wasn't really my aunt. She was my neighbor, elderly at the time. So when I got my own place, I bought my own. That, and I've got these white mount hoods from Washington, or supposedly Washington white daffodil. Oops. So uh, I didn't hear the news of Catherine yesterday. Um, better move that flame on account of I had a big fire last night. Uh, I don't know why I was online and I missed it. But I never did see it. And, you know, then we saw that uh, after the terrible news, you know, you hope a lot of people feel bad. Especially all the media jumping all over her, um, her Mother's Day picture, which is like a card you send out, right? And they're all like, oh my god, oh my god, this is edited, oh my god, it's manipulated, well who cares? And I couldn't believe major media was all over that, talking about how terrible it was and how they turned on her, but even some YouTubers I saw that are usually positive were saying negative things about that picture. Um, I watched Jesus of Royal Rogue earlier today and saw his video from yesterday. He felt real bad because he takes pictures really seriously. Um, and he had criticized the edits to which, you know, I did a lot of editing of photos when I sold things online. I just don't think anything of it. And it was a gift to the world. Like, hello, happy Mother's Day or to England or whatever. And, and they crapped all over it, the media. And also some YouTubers. Okay, I stayed out of it. Okay. Uh, this just popped out. Retreat, abandonment, eight of cups, walking away. Hmm. So now some people are backtracking what they said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jerks, fair weather friends. All right. So what I decided to read on. I did read on her health earlier uh, with this deck, and I got a lot of clouds backs turned. Uh, she has a big uh, journey coming up, but the last two cards was a reversed Ten of Swords, which was really a woman with a big hairstyle with pins in it, ten pins in it. Because it was reversed, you know, you can say the pins are going to drop out, and she'll get through this near life, well, life-threatening illness. And then the world card came up, so it was very positive. So I do see her. I hope that means she's coming through it, not the end, but a completion of a cycle. Um, so that got me thinking, you know, what Megan and Harry then immediately released a statement referring to the Princess Catherine of Wales as Kate. Oh, our best wishes to her. You know, it was so short and stupid, so obligatory. You know, show up and do good is their motto. For Archwell, show up and do good. Yeah. How about not show up and be rude? I doubt Catherine wants to see that. So I decided to do something fun. And that keeps wanting to come out. Um, and I, I wondered, because their relationship was probably off to a wrong foot right at the beginning, right? Um, I, I've got my Easter nails on. Little eggs. They cheer me up today. So I wanted to know at that first meeting when Megan told Oprah that she never looked up William one line. Of course, we know she lied. Uh, did Catherine look up Megan before they met? And did she ever see that post in the TIG where Megan talked about Catherine and William's wedding and mocked it and said, well, I never wanted to be a princess. I don't need that. Uh, uh, uh. She actually wrote about it and mocked Catherine's wedding and William. Mocked being a princess, although we know she desperately wants it, and said that she always wanted to be the she ra hero. I guess there was a cartoon I missed. I'm older than her. And that she wanted to be independent she ra he ra hoo ha yeah yeah so she was always greatness incarnate megan she was always greater than catherine in her mind um so what i want to know is did uh 
Catherine look her up uh, before they met. Like, as soon as she found out that Harry was dating this actress from Suits, which they apparently watched. And the answer is no. She didn't immediately see that post or go look her up. Um, did she and William have an opinion? You know, it was good from the show. But, oh, no. No, 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 no. This is my William card, King Knight of Pentacles. Um, they did not. They may have liked her in the character, but they didn't like that she was dating William's brother. Cat, cat, yeah, no. I'm a little under the weather today. Okay. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, so then I wonder, uh, so before they met, they, they had a bad opinion. They didn't look up her TIG blog or see that post. Did Pippa? Yes. Go, Pippa, go. Pippa, Knight of Wands, communication jet. Pippa, go, Pippa. Pippa saw that post. She zipped right over and told Catherine, let me show you this. Let me show you this. I mean, this is before the blog was taken down. Um, and so Pippa looked it up. Pippa did her research and came running over and told Catherine, all about it and showed her, screenshotted whatever she had to do. She told her. Oh, so then, so Catherine knew before she first met, well, I gotta take it, before she first met, what's her name? T O W, the, the, this one's wife. Uh, yeah, she was in control and command of that communication. She had it in her hand from her sister. Go, Pippa about the little black cat, the little evil wicked one coming into their world. Yes. Ooh -wee. And she was not going to be taken down by this girl back then. She was very careful on their first meeting, remember? That's what Megan said. She thought that Catherine, by wearing the ripped up jeans and bare feet and the t-shirt to meet the future Queen of England, representing America, by the way, she dressed down like a little, you know, a trailer park hoe bag to meet the future queen, the Princess of Wales. No, not Wales at the time yet, was she? No, it was was it uh, Cornwall? Cambridge, Princess of Cambridge. And um, so she dressed like that. She was. They, they had a a warning, <clears throat> a heads up. Okay, but. She did go in with an open mind, this tells me. Because, again, I talked about the hairpins in the upside down. This is, all right, we're not going to take her down. We're going to be open-minded, let the, let the swords fall where they will. And yeah, we're going to give her a shot. They didn't like the idea of her sex scenes and him, Harry, getting serious with you know, <laughs> dirty little American actress, but they said, okay, well, she's going to leave that occupation she already had by the time they met, so they did give her a chance. However, <laughs> however, she would, she knew this information, that she, that she did her best to have an open mind, but she knew that Megan, I could also see, see as a queen of wands here, this media girl, uh, had mocked Catherine as uh, a princess, mocked her wedding. <clears throat> I gotta get a glass of water here. Hold on. <clears throat> so, on the car on the way over, now these are the familiars. It's Pip deck, so it only has uh, faces on, you know, like the face guards, and they may draw a comment. So, how was the ride over? to Harry's cottage to meet Megan for dinner for probably yet another chicken dinner. You know, how many ways can you make chicken <laughs> with a turnip up its butt, with its thumb in its beak? <laughs> yeah, one more chicken dinner and bare feet. And by the way, uh, she didn't wear bare feet like she told Oprah to be all casual and Catherine probably dressed properly and behaved properly. 
which surprised Megan. She thought she'd see a casual girl and be all good friends with her, but Catherine has her own friends. She didn't need Megan. So there was probably something stewing on already. And, and what was that conversation like on the way over? What was their opinion already? Um, Knight of Cups. So that's William here again. Uh, the good news, the proposal. Oh, they were going to be told about the proposal or they knew about it. And this was sort of the engagement, sort of introduction of, of their engagement or about to be engaged. And look at that little path through the woods. They're going out to the cottage. But there's wisdom there. And, and William was like, yeah, no way. Maybe not for my brother, this American actor. So did I just mess up my camera? Um, so William was like, hmm, I hope he doesn't get too serious with this girl. I've seen those sex scenes. I've seen her naked in a thong from behind. Not royal material. Six of Pentacles, okay. Harmony. Or it could be settling scores, give and receive, charity. All right, they're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. They have the conversation. We're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she's really nice in person. Maybe she's not a hoe bag. That was just her job. Okay, three cups. So they had wine together. They had a nice dinner. Uh... And they, Catherine did the best she could. They put on their best, uh, right here, charity for Harry, for Harry's sake, even though they knew. But the, she would have been a little bit cold. Was, was Catherine having a hard time? Like, did she have a hard set jaw during that meeting? Five of Cups. Yeah, she had regrets. <laughs> she had regrets. Uh, a little bit of grief because she had to put on her her best uh, face to meet someone who criticized her wedding and disrespected her as a princess. But she did her best. They did their best. And William wasn't too happy either. But they put on their best face. But, you know, people can feel things, right? Did Megan know? Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, she thought Catherine was very uppity. Her and her husband. Here's two wolves snuggling up. Yeah, she was, uh, yeah, Catherine's pretty cold. Catherine's pretty cold. So there was a little squeak between them right from the beginning. Um, things were ready to uh, just take a surprise card. King of Cups. Huh. So it was Knight of Cups before is the proposal. King of Cups. Um... Seems like the king, he knew too. He knew too, but I met him later, I think. They'd already met the queen. And here he is getting ready to write something. Hmm. I really want to know about, okay, Queen of Wands. She, yeah, she was just down with the family. Um, they must have, what were they reading about her? Aside from her show, what else were they getting? Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Fortune Digger. <laughs>